Hi guys, this is Mohammad Ali from Ali Shuja Classroom and today we will discuss quickly some of the basics of Stata. I will demonstrate how to import data from Excel sheet to Stata and uh, what should be the structure of that uh, spreadsheet to successfully import in Stata and how to run some basic analysis also regression and so on. So uh, this video will be just to give you an idea about how the interface of Stata looks like and uh, if you have data how to import it uh, in this one. So I plan to do a series of videos in which we'll go from uh, this video, a very basic introductory video towards uh, some basic data analysis, how to report those analysis, um, estimation, um, tabulation, EST tab, EST out, and all those commands uh, leading towards some advanced data cleaning stuff, data manipulation and um, analysis and so on. So in this video, uh, let's start this one. Uh, this is where your uh, output of your commands will show. Uh, this is the window for that. Here, as you can say, see this is called command. Actually, these are um, you'll see command here as well and here as well. So in this blue, under this blue line, uh, you'll write your commands and uh, it will show some output here. And whatever the commands you have run, uh, whether they execute it correctly or not, they'll show up in this video window right here, sorry. Uh, so this is called review window and uh, you'll see a set of commands here. And um, when you have variables in your data set, they will show here. So right now it is saying there are no items to show and this is a variable window. Um, and uh, because we do not have any data in this command, so in this window, um, Stata software, so whatever you write here, for example, if I write summary command for X, it will not do anything because there are no variables defined here, okay? So this is how it is. Um, there are some fairly easy point and click features as well. You can uh, edit data, you can do graphics here. There are several different options. And by the way, you can move these windows around. You can take, uh, if you want, you can have your command window on the left side. You can have review window here or wherever. You can move these windows around. So you, if you just click this and you can see that uh, it is asking you to move. So you can move it here, 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 wherever you want. So I, I'm comfortable with this layout, so I'll not change it. Um, and uh, you can change it if you want to. Now, we want to import uh, data, okay? So, I have this spreadsheet. This is from Pan World Tables. Um, this is a real data uh, from uh, Pan World Tables. This data is only for two countries, Argentina and Australia. Uh, this, this is for demonstration only. And I have intentionally made this uh, spreadsheet in um, with some points that uh, will help me demonstrate how you can sometimes you make mistakes when importing data into Stata and it does not run command. So uh, this uh, formulation of data is called long format because you have country names repeating here and um, years as well repeating in the in the column not in the row. Some of the data sets you'll have um, wide format. Wide format is when you have uh, countries here country Australia and Argentina here and uh, 2007, 8, 9 years will be in the in the rows and uh, for Stata if you want to import data in Stata you need to have long format just like this one okay so arrange data like this and I have intentionally left these dots here so when you download data from world development indicators for example um, in place of missing observations they have these two dots sometimes and I'll show you why I have made this intentionally uh, made this mistake in this data set. Not mistake, but um, Stata will not consider this as variables when we import them. You'll see what I mean. Um, and I've intentionally made these two um, rows here. So you could have simply variable names. These are variable names, um, the, the ones that will be used to type commands. And these are labels, labels in the sense that it's much easier to type HC rather than a human capital index when you are running several different commands. Um, commands get unnecessarily long and um, it's not very easy uh, to work with those long commands. So it's much uh, better to have abbreviations and these are variable names and these are variable labels. Um, how to, now let's go back to Stata. And uh, this is Stata version 14.2. So in early versions like Stata 11 or so, these, this menu will look slightly different and it was not that 
as easy as it is right now to import Excel spreadsheets into Stata. So it's very easy these days. Um, I think Stata 15 or 16 is um, the current version. This is an older version. Simply go to import Excel spreadsheet. And here you have to click this button to browse to the data file. So this is the dummy data that I just showed you. I'll double click this one. And as you can see in the preview window, it is showing that it has imported data and it is asking me several other things. Um, uh, and uh, I'm not going, I'm going to intentionally ignore them right now because I want to demonstrate something. So I've browsed it and you can see the data. And if I click OK, you'll see some variables here, A, B, C, D, E, F. And now you will ask a question, why is, is this A, B, C, D? Why, why not the variable names? And uh, there is a reason for that. I'm going to explain that why. So, so click this guy right here. This is data editor, browse. There are two different types, edit and browse. Browse means that you cannot in, unintentionally edit data. So if you look at this data right here, you'll not, you cannot edit it here. So this is safer if you, um, if you think that you may accidentally change some variables. So simply click this one and it will not allow you to change variable um, observations there. Um, and, and if you click this one, then uh, you can edit data here. So, so type something and it will change it here. So let's click data editor browse. And you can see that it, this data set looks strange. Everything is red. In Stata, red means that Stata is considering this to be string. String means um, text variables. So this is text, it's not numbers. Even though you can see that years is in numbers, everything else is in numbers. But since everything is red, it means that data Stata is considering this to be strings. And if you click one of these, and you see right here, this is the property of variables. And this is the same variable list that you were seeing right here. Um, so type is str. str stands for string. And 2, 3 is type of a string. So this is a string variable. And this variable is of no use for you. So for example, d, uh, variable d is uh, rgdp, real gdp. Okay. So if, we, if I want to run some command here, I can if I want to have summaries, the summary command for in stata is sum. And um, if I want to have summary of D, I'll not get anything. See that this is zero because stata is not recognizing this as a numerical variable. Okay, so we have made this mistake. So let's clear this out. And if you want to clear this data set right here, you simply write clear. Sorry, clear. Okay, so this is empty. Let's try it again. File, import, spreadsheet, go to the file, dummy data. And now, because I have uh, my country, uh, sorry, variable names in the second row. So this is the cell range right here. You can see that. Click this. What you need to know is that your data set actually is starting from second row in the spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, we need to have also the variable names. Uh, we don't care about variable labels right now. We can assign them later on. We need variable names and also we need uh, the data. So let's go here and column A is fine because in column A I have country code, in B I have country name and so on. And the data is going up to G. So I don't need to start this from row 1. I need to start this from row 2. Okay. Just click 2 and OK. And it will not change the preview, but you know that you have defined this uh, from A to, so the range is from the second row. You know that already. Second thing that you have to do is, if you do it right now, if you click OK, again it will be wrong because um, this will be considered as part of data. You don't want second row to be part of data. You want this to be your variable names. So what you do is, you click this guy right here. If you do this, it means that it imports the first row as variable names. Right now, you see that it has uh, put the first name as the, uh, the variable names as the first row. But don't worry about that because we have not defined A1. If this was A1, then this would be true. It is um, showing it like this, but you'll see um, later on that it is fine. The preview is not updated yet. So 
the spreadsheet is starting from the second row this we have changed from the previous demonstration and also we have clicked this guy right here so uh, the first row from our assigned range will be considered as the variable name okay let's click okay and you can see right here that now we have variable names instead of a b c d e okay and now click this browser and uh, now you can see that um, all these are variable um, country quotes these are country names and this all is black this is numbers and even though all these are numbers they are still red why because as I showed you before I had intentionally put these two dots here so because of these two dots Stata is still considering this to be text we don't want this okay so again we have to do it again um, this uh, demonstration is important because uh, many a times you import data and you realize that Stata is not doing anything and these are the very common mistakes so I, I wanted to show you this is why this video is getting a bit longer uh, but um, uh, I think it's important to demonstrate that this kind of small things can make a huge difference. So close this, clear this data because it's not of no use for us. Go to um, Excel again and remove this from here. Let's delete this. Now these are empty cells. For 2018 for Australia we don't have any you know, uh, observations. That's fine. Just click this save. This file is saved. Let's go back to our Stata software. Now um, notice that we have run this import command twice and the, from the last time this command is right here. So uh, I don't have to go to file and browse and open and uh, import and uh, everything. Simply click this uh, thing again and uh, you'll see that there is this command right here in this one. Okay, so if you click this command right here, then uh, you don't have to follow the same procedure point and click again. Uh, we have defined already this cell range, which is fine. We know that we need sheet one. So this is the same command that was executed before, but uh, some of the variables were, were in a string. Uh, they were read as we showed before. So right now, since we have changed that data file, it's the same dummy data file. Uh, we have changed this data file. so. Um, we just simply have to use this command again um, and it should import correctly because uh, the data set is, has been cleaned. Uh, it doesn't have those double dots anymore and click OK. Okay, so this was uh, the same as before. Now go to browse and you can see that this, um, all this data set is not read anymore because now um, Stata is considering this to be uh, the type is double It's one of the types of numerical data and still if you click this one it will show you string uh, these these are string variables okay um, red is a string variables and if this is black or blue blue is labeled data so black or blue means that uh, uh, this is numerical data okay now you can perform some um, analysis on this Red, let's do some basic regression analysis and uh, simple regression OLS is REG and uh, by the way when you import data like this Stata considers to be it to be um, cross-sectional data. You have to define data as pool data or time series data uh, by using some commands. So right now Stata is considering, considering to be considering the data set to be cross-sectional data. You don't have to do anything if you want to simply run a cross-sectional data. Okay, so if I want to simply run a cross-sectional OLS uh, data analysis, what I have to do is type reg. Reg is short for regression space, and the first variable after this is um, our dependent variable. So let's say our regression is dependent variable as GDP, uh, population, employed population, and human capital. This is not the best economic model. This is not the objective of this um, exercise. It's just to demonstrate that these uh, commands work. So um, type this. So the first variable should be the dependent variable. The next should be independent variables. Doesn't matter how many you have, depending on the degree of freedom, of course. Um, and simply run this. Okay? This is the regression output because we had uh, data now. So it is showing uh, the regression. And um, 
uh, there are many numbers here and if you are new to regression analysis this might be scary you don't have to be scared um, simply you have to look at dependent variable is shown here all the independent variables that you typed in this command right here are shown here and these are the beta coefficients okay so you have seen these beta coefficients uh, in your econometrics 101 classes uh, beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 this is the intercept this is constant beta and uh, intercept beta naught if you want um, this is f statistic of the model is significant it means that the model fit is good uh, r squared is 89 percent adjusted r squared is 88 percent all good um, p values um, this is human capital so it's significant because it's below 0 0.05 so this coefficient is significant and positive it means that you increase human capital and uh, gdp will increase okay so this is the t statistic as mentioned here this is the standard error um, associated with this coefficient uh, this is the co confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval for this coefficient right here and this is the simplest way of um, doing regression anal analysis so um, if you want to uh, store this you can store uh, est short for estimates store a1 a1 i'm calling this a1 you can call it anything else est store a1 now if i want to um, have this regression output in a general journal format you may have seen some general regression tables in the journals and they do not look like this the one that you are seeing right now on your screen so the way to do it is to just simply write est tab and since i stored this regression estimate um, and i gave it the name a1 so i will write est tab is the name of the command space and the name of the stored estimation a1 I click this and it will give me this nice looking table with some stars and also some p-values right here and it tells you uh, you can simply copy paste it in your assignment for example and this is much better looking than this one right here there are uh, there is a lot of information here so you'll not find this kind of um, estimation results in any peer-reviewed journal because um, the right way to do it or the standard way of doing reporting your regression analysis is something like this uh, you can also have multiple uh, models in one table uh, for example like i can simply click it again and i can remove human capital from here this will be a different estimation and uh, i can store it est store and call it a2 and then i can est tab it again with the uh, first estimation so EST tab A1, this was the previous model. I have stored it, it's in my memory, it's shown here. And I have this new uh, model right here, A2, and I can simply enter it. And now you have regression table for both models, one and two. And um, this looks neat, much neater than uh, what we have right here. So this was a very simple basic introduction to uh, Stata. I plan to do more videos on this. And uh, if you like this video, if you learned something from it, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will come back with more videos on Stata, some more advanced stuff, some more regression analysis, um, data analysis, editing graphs and so on. Okay, thank you so much.